Hi guys, before you enjoy this chapter, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. So today is actually the first AB Talks together that I do in English. Uh, all the, my guests are not English, <laughs> but we're going to speak in English. So I'm actually curious. I'm, act I'm actually surprised I never did one in an English language. Uh, I have two friends that I don't get to see so much, but I would still call them my friends. Uh, they're good people. And I think a lot of the times we don't use the word good enough because I don't know, it's underrated or undervalued, but it's such an important thing to consider when you meet human beings. Are they good or are they bad? So I think they're very good people. And uh, I've always liked their chemistry. Murad always and I is uh, Natalie. So uh, <laughs> there's a, a funny comedy and uh, relationship that in my opinion from the outside, uh, it looks like a healthy uh, <laughs> relationship and we'll get to know more today so <laughs> welcome both of you thanks okay. thanks for having us yeah, you know the concept yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um right. so bring it on <laughs> uh i'm gonna start with natalie mm -hmm. if you don't understand anything okay. I'll, I'll explain yes. it yeah. i hope we didn't divorce after <laughs> <laughs> i, I said, hope the opposite but he said it's nice to meet good looking people what he meant like who did he mean I didn't say good looking. I know. You want to add like, it? That's what I had no. in my head. Mm. <laughs> okay. Are you ready, Murat? Okay. It wasn't me, by the way. It's like, like okay. uh, we're, we're going to psychologist. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. What's one thing about me you absolutely love? Uh, and I, want, I need to, before you continue, one little point is anytime I have a question mark, I forgot to say this, stop at the first question mark. Ah, when okay, he, when okay, he answers, okay, you continue. Okay. okay. Uh, so, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's one thing about me you absolutely love? One. Is that <laughs> true? <laughs> that must be a trick. Just <laughs> if one. If I just say one, that will yeah. be... Okay, one thing. Um, right. You <laughs> are very wise. Well, okay, that's a good question. Nice. Uh, a good answer, yeah. Safe answer, yeah. <laughs> Safe answer. Okay, next one. And one thing about me that really annoys you. Annoys you. Annoys. And one. Th one more time. And one thing about me that really annoys. Yeah. You. Correct. Just one. <laughs> Again. <laughs> okay. The, the same one. Here is the list. One thing that annoys you, which okay. I can safely say, and then we can go home yeah. and like... Remember it, we will back right. home. <laughs> uh, you are very stubborn. Me? Yes. No way. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the one thing that you love about her is her wisdom. Yeah. And the one thing that you find really annoying is her stubbornness. Yeah. But why isn't stubbornness sometimes a good thing? Yes, um, I agree with you. During the day, <laughs> yes, but in the mornings or in the evenings and when you think that you're right and obviously like 99% of the time I think that I'm right <laughs> and the 99% of that time I think I'm right, I'm actually right. So that's uh, difficult to persuade another person. But it's really good for work. Yeah, example. yeah, it's good. It's always good to brainstorm together like uh, when you don't agree on something. Mm. But sometimes it's good to agree on something. Okay. <laughs> Oof! No, this One is question. easy. No, 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 they're gonna go worse. <laughs> <laughs> worse. Yeah. Okay. So you stop at each question mark. All right. Who was the guy? All right. <laughs> 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 my personal question. <laughs> um, do you feel satisfied with our relationship? <laughs> Answer faster. <laughs> <laughs> we are 11 years together. I don't know who. Like, who do you imagine? Yeah, of I'm course. just started going of out course, with you. Yes. Okay. Are you happy? Uh, <laughs> I don't like the last What is part. happy? What What is happy for you, Murat? I don't like the no, last. No. Are you happy with the relationship? Ah, uh, yeah, and uh, uh, really interesting thing that year by year our relationship are growing and changing in a good way, mm. and. Uh, 
it's so interesting to observe how we each of us uh, are changing hmm. and our relationship are changing together so you said 11 years you're together so the morad you have now <laughs> the morad you have now yeah. is very different than the morad of course a lot course. better more handsome uh, uh, more beauty yeah. and smart <laughs> of course yeah 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 it's uh, and and me uh, and morad are different person Mm. Yeah. yeah, and uh, our relationship are uh, modified, da? Yeah? Modif- well, it, uh, it grew, it grew more and more. It's grew more and more for sure. Yeah, I like mm. the last part. It says, "How come?" Like, okay. <laughs> and it's interesting to uh, to understand how we uh, grew together and changing and change ourselves. Mm. It's really important. I have a. Um, and the last one was how come? Yeah. <laughs> like how come you're happy? Yeah. How come? Yeah. Like how? Uh, I'm yes. always laughing with him. I'm sorry. Laughing, 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 laughing. Laughing. Yes. Yeah. I'm always laughing with him, and it's really, it's helped us a lot in a bad situation because we're a normal couple. We uh, sometimes we uh, fight a bit, and uh, a bit. he's always joking, and it helps a lot. So, okay, I have uh, some questions just to understand because the, the, the goal of all the show and in specifically in the together is um, always about the people also watching because there are people who are couples that are going to be watching or people who want to be in a relationship or whatnot. And uh, these days, you know, Murad and Natalie, it's very rare to find f- couples that stay together for a long time. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> and you did 11 years plus, right? So my question to me, to both of you is um, how you said he changed. He's not the same Murad mm-hmm, you met 11 mm-hmm. years ago. So how, how do you, th- uh, my theory is I say, um, you know, when I was married before, so I've, I've had some experience. And I say that you have to change, because you have to change. Mm-hmm. Everybody will change. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But if you change in very different directions, you end up becoming strangers right That's true. so with Murad and Natalie you said you're changing but how did you change and you said every year I like love him more usually people love less <laughs> <laughs> so how do you grow although you're changing both of you you're still I don't know you're still learning to dance together like well, it's not becoming a bad dance that's um, I think in the beginning when you were starting the, rela- the relationship um, if uh, if it's just passion, without the respect, without the mutual uh, interests, it's um, it's not going to last long. You have to have some connections. You have to have deeper connections. You have to like what the other person person is thinking and doing. You have to be interested in his or her interests, and uh, that's what we did. Like as soon as Natalie developed passion for something, I started to for take part. For for meditation, for example, for mindfulness and everything, I started, even though I like believed a lot less in, in that back mm. then, mm. I started to take interest, I started to research as well, because as you said, you when you develop and you grow as a person, if you grow different directions, that's it. Like in a year or two, you don't see it in a second. It just goes gradually. You change and change year by year, then like in three, four, five years, you completely become different people and different people not together so uh, and i think it's really important to respect the meaning and, and respect the vision even then it's a different vision than you are mm. and it's really important to um, catch this uh, catch that moment when you um, started not don't respect Oh yeah, and also yeah, we you know, can you explain that yeah. even by the way you can do it in russian and he'll help me yeah like if I, I want to understand exactly what mm-hmm. you meant. You said catch a moment. Очень важно не потерять момент, когда ты перестаешь уважать и ценить ценить видение и мнение другого человека, даже если оно с твоим не сходится. You have to you have to understand and uh, accept the different. Uh, vision, the different thoughts of another person, even if you don't agree with them. Hmm. You just have to accept them 
uh, and in that way, with this acceptance, you can go forward. And it's really important uh, to feel it, it from the both sides. Yeah, yeah. Because it doesn't work if it's only one side and mm. another one uh, just do what he wants. You know, I, I just before here, literally in the car, uh, uh, I got a video, a reel on, on Insta, somebody sent me, it was Chris Rock. And he's saying, people say relationships are really hard. Relationships are not hard. He's like, it's hard to move a sofa alone, <laughs> but if you're two people, you can move the sofa very easily. Yeah, yeah. And he made sure. it so simple. Yeah. And he, his point was, if it's only one person working on the yeah. relationship, of course it's hard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If both of it you, both, like you said, yeah. are interested and respect each other and each other's interests, although they're different, mm-hmm. you have a good chance. Mm-hmm. And I think as long as you... Yesterday also night, I had some friends over and uh, we had this... It's funny, that's just the first question and we're talking this much. Um, I was talking to them about uh, the idea of photoshopping and editing your partner. Mm -hmm. That it's a very stupid idea because if you fall in love with somebody, but then you're like, yeah, but I don't want you to play football so much and I don't want you to go out with this friend Mm -hmm. and I don't want you to speak like this in front of my family. I'm like, you're editing them so much, they're not the same person at the end. That will eventually, you will you will synchronize eventually. It just it cannot be in a second because if you respect, because if you look at us, we come from completely different backgrounds. Natalie is Orthodox and Christian, and I'm Muslim, and the two families have different values, different lifestyle, and uh, they're completely different in terms of how you talk to each other, which things you respect, but we have the same ground values, and mm. that helped us to build the relationship because I was resonating with a lot of stuff that Natalie says. And, uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, no, I mean at the beginning because as uh, having a Southern mentality for me was important to, for my wife and my partner to uh, not object me publicly, for example. Like uh, she, can, uh, she can tell me whatever she wants in, uh, like at home or personally, but if it's publicly, for me, at the beginning, mm-hmm. it was resonating. Like, like why? Why did she do re- All reaction. And yeah. we, like, we would fight. But then, like, I would, through the years, I would come down and she would uh, understand when to say something to me and when to, when to not. And I would understand when I can say something to her or not because she would, like, at the beginning, Natalie wouldn't understand my jokes or something. <laughs> like, we would have a lot <laughs> of fights. <Stupid> jo- <laughs> a lot of stupid jokes. <laughs> because there's a lot of sarcasm. And sometimes, I get it, sometimes people don't really think that it's a joke. So... Yeah. Uh, that's that's the thing. Like you adjust. If you um, if you love each other, if you share passion for each other, you want to change, but in a good way. You don't uh, you don't betray your values. It's uh, it's a, it's an involvement. Like you evolve in a better person. I think. And it's uh, I totally agree with you because uh, a lot of people when they started to meet each other, they just imagine. Um, this person. Yes. Th- yeah. This person. And it's this and person. And don't, don't like want to really know who is this person. Th- yeah. This is you a really build your image point. of what, you're, what yeah, your what partner you want. to be. Absolutely. But yeah. After yeah. like it's 10, really 11 important. years, the image, uh, the image is gone. Like you're left with you, the real use. And uh, not even 11, 10 years. Like I think two, three years. Like yeah. you can understand the person. Because you cannot wear the mask all the time. And uh, that's when things get rough so if you don't um, respect each other then it's just gonna you're gonna go separate ways you said that um, the values were similar although you're different people but you had similar values yeah. I think that's very important mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know if yeah. you if people have a similar value to life or how to conduct themselves or yeah. how to behave uh, it makes everything much easier but if you have very different values it's a, it's yeah. a problem. Mm-hmm. You mentioned also, uh, Natalie, laughter. You said laughter got mm-hmm. us through. Mm-hmm. So you think a sense of humor and laughing is very yeah, important? Yeah, it helps a lot because a lot of uh, uncomfortable situation could be a between... Lot of, uh? No, no, I'm just saying that. Could, <laughs> a could lot be of. between... <laughs> a lot of... <laughs> Some of uncomfortable situation <laughs> could be between uh, two of us and uh, jokes and uh, jokes of... Uh, Yourselves mm. helps a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Okay, part two. Mm-hmm. Natalie. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Question by question. Question by question. So, Murat. Mm-hmm. What is your most 
cherished memory of our relationship so far? Uh, my most cherished memory? Um, well, I, I wouldn't be lying. Uh, it was saying when Natalie told me that she's pregnant because uh, we've been trying for a very long time and uh, that was exactly on my birthday. So I was okay. like, she woke me up and she was like, wake up, wake up. And uh, I'm like, what? Like, let me sleep for a while. No, you have to wake up. No. I'm like, why? Why? What's wrong? So she told me and then uh, I was like, okay but like on a birthday no, 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 you're told like, is it real yeah i was like that yeah. must be fake like i mean on the birthday like that's like you can't give me like like a present like that this yeah. is not possible but it, it was real so uh hmm. i would say that was the most like cherished moment mm. for me as well yeah so next one and what is the sad saddest saddest mm. and what is the saddest memory of our relationship so far the saddest memory when uh, you told me I cannot have four wives or uh, <laughs> um, five. I don't know. Like the saddest moment is when we fight, I guess. Uh, which I like a, a person. I don't like conflicts. I try to avoid them. Me too. And then like there were a couple of them where, yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, there, there is a certain stage when you get, when you realize that you either gonna be more connected to each other or your ways are just gonna go separate. And there were situations in life when I personally didn't know, are we gonna come closer together or mm -hmm. be far away? And uh, at this, some of these points uh, in, in life, for example, uh, Mm. you analyze and uh, you, you, you're trying to have the example of your parents, for example, that, uh, and you look at their family, how they stay together. And as you've said, a lot of people, uh, they just uh, separate or get divorced quickly. And, uh, and those moments, like there were, there were some moments when we were on a break, but we managed to survive and then to... Uh, <laughs> to become more and more closer to each other. So I guess like one or two moments mm -hmm. that were very tough. Hmm. Okay, Murad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, do you think fatherhood has changed me? Fatherhood? Being, being a father. Ah? Ah, mm -hmm. And how? Okay, I mean, this is the same question I would say. Hmm, it's an interesting question because we are in s now deeply inside of their fatherhood and motherhood. And uh, yeah, of course, uh, as your mom said that she don't know that you could love children so, so, so much, like uh, Murad loves uh, Solomon. And, uh, uh, he's really attention about every details uh, when the Solomon is growing. Uh, he's really uh, um, careful. Caring. Ca she, he's caring. really caring uh, about every d details, and uh, I really respect it. And uh, he helps me a lot. And uh, the most important thing, I don't feel that I alone growing uh, Salomon because mm. both uh, both of us are working a lot and uh, I don't feel that it's only on my shoulders very nice for me it's really important and okay, uh, good. Ah? very good, good. <laughs> do you think that has sometimes she you? says like if you she's answer a, it she's a lonely mother <laughs> do you, um, you think it has changed like have you surprised Morad have you surprised yourself um, I don't know I thought I don't like kids like uh, when, I, when I was young, uh, I didn't like young kids and like it was so annoying. That's and, why uh, your mother told uh, it. Yeah, I guess so. Like, I only liked one, one of my cousins because he was so cute and uh, like I helped cool. in everything, uh, Aslan, uh. one of the cousins, <laughs> when he was young and I shared the toys with him. But all other young children, I was like, just like, just put them somewhere there, like, <laughs> away from me. So that's why I was surprised I don't in know my it. reaction. I love him so much that... Uh, 
It's just it's different. It's um, I didn't know what kind of I I thought I'm gonna be a bad father. Like that's why no. I, I thought like I was like not I wasn't I'm not gonna pay attention. I really wanted a child, he but create, I didn't expect what no, kind no, of father I'm gonna he be. He creates some fairy tales and uh, use uh, his uh, crazy imagination uh, to connect with the Solomon. It's amazing to observe oh, it. He's gonna, when he grows up, he's gonna <laughs> tell me what the hell were the stories <laughs> you're telling me because I'm tricking him. I'm giving him different languages, so <laughs> he speaks. I don't know. But you're enjoying it. Something. No, no, we're having fun. Yeah. Well, I hope he's having fun as well. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy, when he's <laughs> going to be older, I'm going to be pranking him. No, we're just joking <laughs> about the travel together with Salomon. No, no, I'm sure, like traveling with him. And I think that by the age, when he reaches the age where he can talk, he's going to say like, guys, can I just stay home? Like, <laughs> you go whenever you want. I want to stay at home and chill. <laughs> you just leave. <laughs> leave the flats and like, just go have fun. Mm -hmm. mm. But it is tough. Parenthood? Yeah, it is like, I don't know, I expect it to be like easy, but it just consumes so much energy. Of course. Like literally, he's an energy... Uh, drainer. Drainer, yeah. Drainer. You, can't, you have to be constantly concentrated. You cannot leave his, him for a second. And like before I was used to be like, I can sleep. Uh, okay, tell the story I need, about sleeping. I need to yeah. sleep in one go, eight hours. Like it, it can be any time and before, like, because we were trying for a baby for several years. So I used to the new routine going to sleep like at 11. Because before I, was go I would go to sleep like at 4 a.m. or like very chaotic time schedule. And, but I need eight hours of sleep. And literally from the moment he's born <laughs> till like it's 1.3 15 years months. and uh, yeah, 15 months and nine days and nine hours. <laughs> 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 like there's literally no sleep. <laughs> Because he's gonna wake up at okay. two, at three, uh, at six. Okay. And then... From an, uh, but another side, I just told about uh, Solomon have to sleep in another room. And what do you answer? No, no. He said she said like uh, there's no after this after years. Like okay, there's a new technique. You have to leave him in another room, and then like no matter what happens, he cries and yeah. everything. He just stays there. Then he's gonna he get used, used to, to the. Mm -hmm. And I'm like why. In another room, you're gonna leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm not, not leaving alone. I'm not leaving him alone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't want to sleep without him. No, 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 no. But he has to grow up like a man. Mm. He's gonna be strict, <laughs> strict values. <laughs> blah blah blah. Okay. Um, My turn. Mm. Uh huh. Have you ever <laughs> considered ending? Our relationship. When or <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Why? You mean like recently or uh, any, uh, any, 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 any point? Well, yesterday, why I had like several thoughts, but like we kind of eleven years. That's like, you see, there's, there's it's difficult to end the relationship. We have a kid. We love each other. Like you can't just we do love it each other. Now. Well, we kind of. We? There's like mutual respect. I would say. <laughs> So it's not um, <laughs> no, at the beginning, yeah, like we were fighting a lot because we have, we do have, I thought back then we had opposite characters, like completely opposite. Throughout the years, I realized they're not opposite. They're more, I mean, we think we're completely different people, but the characters are similar. So, uh, but, then, uh, but I think, uh, um, husband and wife, uh, the best teacher for each other because uh, we are close to each other and we can show each other our uh, thin things. Is it things? work? Uh, no, thoughts? It, uh, mm, mm, tonki mista. No, mm, well, uh, mista. Weak, uh, pay, pay. weak sides. I mean, and that's uh, only the closest people to you know how to hurt you the most. So, like, this is uh, they know where to hurt, and but they, they we, would do we that. Do it. I yeah. mean, you would do that subconsciously. Like, you when you fight each other, you know how to win the fight, and you would always subconsciously hit those notes because you want to win the argument. And uh, that's why in the beginning, when you do that, and when you don't have like this road that you had together, uh, it's you have a lot of thoughts of maybe this is not. Maybe this is wrong. Maybe this is. Uh, I but my, I mean, for me personally, I was uh, um, because I mean, my parents have and her parents had like a healthy relationship. There was like 
this was this base that uh, no, you have to give it a try. You have to like you have to work on your relationship. You don't you don't just quit instantly. It's mm. The minute something happens. Um, but because uh, we have uh, feelings to each other. Yeah. But still, um, no. Still, you still have thoughts. <laughs> no, no. I just think about no, no. about ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, especially like when you, uh, when you hit certain age, like ah. <laughs> when you're turning more <laughs> but, closer uh, to 40. <laughs> but I think now I'm really sad if uh, I can hurt him. I'm re really sad about it. If you hurt him. Yeah, if really? I hurt him. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. <laughs> good to know. But why do you say now you're sad? Like before it was more ego and more... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't care and more she, eager. She, you she, she confessed before that when like at the beginning of the relationship, she was provoking me on purpose to no. see when, how my like... Because I'm really calm till the certain point, like till I explode. So she was, she told me that like I, at the beginning of the relationship, I always wanted to know your end, like end point, like how, where, you, feeling about how you really feel. I was like, <laughs> and I was like really going mad and nuts and everything. And I was like, okay, that's the reason. Mm. Thanks. I just need the emotion, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but now I really care about his feeling, mm. also, not only my feelings at the situation. That's nice. What about you, Murat? I kind of <laughs> care about the feelings okay, as well, from, from one to three. Thank <laughs> you. Okay. Uh, okay, why, is that, why does it have to be me? Okay, do you think I'm, cap I'm capable of cheating on you? And Stop. when? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> do you think I'm capable of cheating on you? Capable? You? <laughs> uh, I hope no. Uh, and uh, to tell the truth, uh, I'm never feeling that Murad uh, really thinking about it. Uh, uh, for me, he's really special uh, man. And uh, I saw sometimes how girls uh, really want uh, his attention. But he don't yeah, understand it. No, I'm really bad with flirting. Yeah, like, yeah. I literally, he's I never understand what someone. And she told me like, she's literally texting you at 4 a.m. <laughs> like, like come to the parties and like, oh, that, that's that flirting. Yeah, yeah. He, he oh, that's is. a trick. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. No, no, no. Uh, uh, in my inner feelings, I, mm, I, I doesn't feel it. Mm. Uh, okay, but uh, in my ego, sometimes I can, I can't. I don't know, imagine something and play on it. Hmm. I mean, theoretically, she has my Instagram password, so that's like, <laughs> theoretically. She might not remember it, but I gave uh, it to her once. So mm -hmm. she doesn't give me her Instagram password, though, which mm. is quite no, strange. Come on, Murat. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. She's very good on not like setting up boundaries. But I mean, we, do, we don't look at each other's phones. We, like, we do have this respect. Uh, everyone has to have their own small parts of private life even though that you it's live not together about, uh, it's, it's about trust it's not yeah. about controlling each other but still like you need to have like your own space uh and not have your husband overlooking uh, <laughs> <laughs> a, a friend message. of mine told me once she said if you ever find a partner or let's say girlfriend or boyfriend in any relationship if you see the other per person checking your phone without you yeah leave Leave the relationship because yeah, yeah, it's there true. is no trust. Yeah. And if there is no trust in the relationship, what's the point of being there? Because there's always going to be something that they want to check. Sure. You know? But if it's after 11 years of relationship, that's okay. Don't leave. <laughs> 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 that means that someone maybe like mistook the phone and was, thought yeah. it was his. <laughs> yeah. What's I, the second part? Uh, how can I make you always feel secure? So it's, uh, let me just see the, I think it's three. Yeah, it's like why yeah, so I think she answered why one. you answered, yeah. yeah. So And then yeah. the last one is uh, how can I make you always feel secure? Mm, so the I understand. Yeah. yeah, but why I want to do it because uh, this why did we add it? The first part, a lot of women will say, Yeah, my partner is capable. He he can cheat, but I hope he doesn't, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. But then the the because I don't want a, a question just for gossip or for drama, it has to have a good intention. Mm -hmm. So the, yeah, the yeah. last part is, if you think your partner, obviously, logically, there is always a chance. But how can the partner make you feel more secure? 
I think it's um, all about attention. If uh, the partner give you uh, enough attention, I know sometimes it's not enough. I, I, I know it. Um, it's all about um, mm, if you are happy. In your relationship, it, huh? yeah, 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 yeah. If you are happy, you don't need uh, to um, inside of you. Uh, you don't need to ask a partner give me a happiness. Hmm. You know what yes. I mean? It's the same uh, situation with the uh, relationship. If you are inside, if inside of you, you don't have any question to yourself, to your relationship, the, the, uh, I think it helps a lot to feel that you don't need to be attention on... Uh, well, you don't have to like overlook, overlook yeah. control everything. Mm -hmm. It's all about my feeling. It's not about the, uh, my partner, you know? I agree. Uh, uh, your partner could be a perfect if you have inside some... Insecurity. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Insecurity. It's always, I yeah, think yeah. with like with being jealous, it's always your insecurity rather yeah, than yeah, the yeah. other person. So mm -hmm. uh, it's you who are creating this feeling and it's you who has to uh, let it go. Even if it happens, like if it happens, you find out, then like, I mean, you deal with it. But... Uh, Otherwise, this feeling of sus suspiciousness, uh, it will just grow on you forever and mm -hmm, forever. Mm -hmm. you, you, it's not a healthy relationship if you suspect your partner on cheating all the time. Like, Correct. There's no point of having this relationship. You always be on the edge. You either let it go and accept the fact that uh, he's cheating or uh, don't accept the fact that he's mm -hmm. cheating because there's no point in living in this constant energy drain. It just drains a lot of energy from Absolutely. you if you're in, if you're in control. Um, For me, I can't because like, uh, Everybody knows that I have a wife, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, how can you like? How can you cheat? <laughs> I agree with you that um, if you don't have peace of mind in yeah. a relationship, there's really no point to be there. It's better mm -hmm. to be single. Yeah, true. Like, you, know? you, you can you can and, quite uh, enjoy being single as well. Also, like finally, that. yesterday I had this conversation, and it's a repeated uh, topic. And I was telling a friend of mine, there's really no point. For example, ah, one of my friends was saying that his friend came for vacation to Dubai and they were at a club and he said that his wife or girlfriend, I don't know, uh, texted him and she said, oh, where are you? Send me a picture of who you're with. Uh. So my friend goes, don't send that, <laughs> don't. And he's like, why? He's like, because the moment you do it, she will be used to this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyways, he's like, my friend runs to the corridor and takes a picture and he says, oh, we're going back home or some shit, right? And then he comes back and he's like, all the time, he's on WhatsApp, just chatting mm -hmm. to her. And he's like, all of us as a group of friends, only guy friends, by the way, in this story, he's like, we're all uncomfortable mm -hmm. because he's always on the phone. We're not even enjoying the night out. So sure. then this conversation came about and I told him, this, this is the issue with a lot of people and a lot of relationships is if somebody's going to cheat, they'll cheat. They yeah. don't need to, if you send pictures, it's not protecting anything yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. so all you can control in a relationship the only thing is yourself yeah the only thing so natalie can be the best version of natalie mm -hmm. for murad and murad can be the best version of murad now if it's not good enough and she cheats of course too bad you were the best version of yourself <laughs> you know you couldn't do more but you trying to control her you're yeah, not yeah. gonna win anything true so yeah. But with the Instagram, like, even if you don't send the picture, you can always go to the location tag and then see. <laughs> That's what my, our partner's wife did. Like, we went in Monaco in a club and like, we were not posting anything, anything at all. And I, I mean, I told Natalie, yeah, we're in a club. And Natalie was like, yeah, okay, fine, just have fun. But his wife, she looked at every single one's story from uh, the location. club and she print screened. Wow. <laughs> she screenshotted from some girls which were, who, who were like, 10 tables away, she's like, oh, she sent him him, like, at least he's <laughs> zoomed, he's zoomed in him. that he's like, I see you. Shit. <laughs> and he's like, for the whole night, he's like, oh, should I drink or should I? <laughs> like, oh, what's going to happen? <laughs> wow, man. Yeah, that's a different that's level. Like a high level of control. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. What has stayed the same in this relationship since the beginning 
stayed the same. Mm. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Hey. No, I mean, what do you mean the state that there is the I mean, we do have the respect and everything. And uh, uh, there's, I don't think anything has stayed at the same level as it was in the beginning. No, it was, maybe like a, rela a reaction and some, I don't know. It's, um, it can be respect. Yeah. I mean, it, it is, but I don't, I, I'm not going to say that it's the same. I think the respect grew. And uh, especially like after. Uh, it, all, it, all, it doesn't grow on, only on your relationship, like, because I have a big family, like we're from South, so it's like, uh, it's the respect that grows when Natalie is blended into my family, how she talks to my parents, how they react to her. And it's like really important because she's the only, uh, I would say, non-Muslim person in the whole, like, hundreds of people having imagine? the same nationality. Good luck. I was the only one allowed. To, and I personally didn't know that there's pressure on that. Like, mm. I thought that, come on, it's like, oh. there's no pressure here. And then throughout the years, I realized that it's my mom who is just my mom. Uh, I always love her. But like with, with Natalie, she acts di a bit differently. There's a slightly <laughs> different pressure on, on, on her than on me. Like I can get away with anything and Natalie can't and mm. like, and the way that Natalie dealt with uh, like with blending into the family and uh, respecting uh, the culture it was really good. And actually, every like a lot of uh, my family members they congratulate her on like the Orthodox uh, Christmas, yeah. the Easter, and all the celebrations. They send her uh, messages, and uh, it's like it's a big fat uh, Dagestani family. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. And and what has changed? Um, what has changed? Maybe reaction as well, as you said. Mm. I don't know. It doesn't feel like the, for example, because when we say like it's 11 years, I don't feel like it's 11 years. Yeah, it feels like same. it's, uh, it's just a recent relationship. Mm -hmm. Uh, even though like there's like a huge baggage that we've been passed through, like a lot of stuff. It, it looks on the outside it looks like a, a happy couple traveling the world but in reality <laughs> like we do have our own issues and having different characters we did fight a lot at the beginning and, different moods, yeah. and, uh, and what changed i guess is the acceptance of each other i think because uh back then you would think that if you don't like you might think that we only had the project that was binding us like the full meter project ah, that we had true. the art together hmm. uh and having different values Later in life, we realized that that's what's different. Like we have different values, but we have the same vision on who we are as people. And uh, that combined, I think that uh, bonded us together, not the project, um, which was uh, still like a passion project for us, but it's, it's not something that would bind us into being together as a, as a couple forever. And I don't think it should have, like in reality, nothing like you don't, if you don't, uh, have a healthy relationship you don't like you can't have anything binding you no obligations or nothing like you, you can't stay like that forever and being unhappy so mm. I guess uh, mm. I mm -hmm. agree mm -hmm. good <laughs> hmm. if for some reason <laughs> I forget my memory well, that, that's the first part is good because I have a bad memory. Like I literally <laughs> forget everything uh, in a second. Uh, what is the first thing you would tell me about us? Like if I lose my memory, what was the first thing you will tell me about us? Mm -hmm. uh, travel. Uh, how we travel together? Because it's more it's more about ju just join the. Uh, cities or culture it's how we connect wi with each other in a different places it's like uh, I don't know teleport in different lives together and uh, in every city and every um, countries uh, I think we are um, different you know what I mean yeah 
that okay, the journeys different feelings transform to each other. you, and if you like, like yeah, if you yeah, remember yeah. the journeys, journeys uh, uh, inside the travel. So that's the first thing you would remind him mm-hmm. about the travels together. Mm-hmm. Not that we are husband and wife. Okay. No, no. it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and okay. Solomon maybe. Yeah. Well, I hope I, if I lose my memory, I'm gonna recognize him mm-hmm. because my childhood uh, photos and him look the same. Oh, really? But I don't see the resemblance of me now and him. Now, he looks like, I don't know, like a baby. But people say he looks <laughs> like me, but I don't know, I, I just see a baby. Mm. <laughs> I see like, uh, that probably is a mixture or something. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's good. Okay. Finale? Yeah. It's going to be okay. photos. <laughs> Why do you think I'm in your life? Why? Like, oh, where's the accent there? Like, why? Do you think, why? Uh, why do you think I'm in your life? Is that uh, that's what I've been discussing with some of the astrologers that I randomly talk to? Why? <laughs> uh, they say that we've been together for several lives. Uh, don't know who, maybe like as friends or something, but just close to each other. Um, I don't know <laughs> because when the relationship started, I um, like it wasn't like an explosion that you like that we had. It was uh, a connection that we felt. But as, Nat- as Natalie said, then the, the relationship grew more and more. Eventually, it didn't start from like an explosion, which may be good for uh, for a long term relationship. I don't know. Like you never know how it works. Like if you don't understand each other no, no matter how you started it will never work but uh why it's like as well, one well, as well, one well. astrologist said you had two directions with the women in your life one will lift you up uh, spiritually and the other one will bring you to hell so <laughs> i think uh, this is <laughs> natalie um uh, lifting me up spiritually I, i'm happy <laughs> that this me? road was uh, shown to me and I chose it nice. because there's like I several directions question, yeah. oh, there's a second question yeah. how do you think uh, your lives would be different if uh, we never met Oof. we met when there was like no tinder no nothing like that <laughs> <laughs> be so much fun, fun yeah. <laughs> like literally like 11 years ago there was no social media now people just get acquainted easily by in a second before you have to go to a person to get acquainted you have to talk to her like there's so much going into that now we just click of a button you get acquainted i don't know um it depends because i think we we developed good uh character values within ourselves and i think that uh, because we met we made each other better people i hope we made each other better people um so it always depends on the person that you meet because before because natalie is as i said natalie is orthodox my family before was uh, um at the stage when they were creating opportunities for me to get married to the same nationality so you would go to a concert uh, of like of our like national music uh, with the whole family and then after that my granddad would ask me like how was it and like how was what the concert was okay and like no 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 the girl next to you I was like what do you mean the girl next to me like yeah we sat two families together specifically so you can get acquainted I was like what <laughs> I'm not, said he, he like I'm not going to get married like I'm not going to get forced into marriage and like for three years they were trying that and then they gave up and they was like just get married to someone like, <laughs> someone, <laughs> like we're okay just no no, no. i mean because of that they were okay with like any nationality or anything mm. like, the barrier was lift i approved my point my ground that like just leave me alone i i want to do i want to do it my own way mm. it's like with education because like my degree is civil engineering and like which from, from for opinion of my granddad is like kind of a failure that i'm doing things now which are not related to engineering which is like photography art movies what the hell is that <laughs> this is not real work but you have um, really beautiful and great family no 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 they're yeah, great yeah. i'm just saying that how this, did you meet uh she met me on social media she texted uh-huh. me and said like wow <laughs> like like literally it was a message like a print screen <laughs> uh, no through, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> no no through mutual friend and so, uh, wow then, so hot yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> i thought she meant like it was hot during the day but like <laughs> 
uh, <laughs> no, she, uh, we had a mutual friend, photographer friend that got us acquainted. And the day I met her, she was wearing leopard, uh, uh, leopard print uh, pants. And I hate leopard. Like I literally hate leopard. <laughs> Back then it was popular and I hated it. Like literally, and that's how I remembered her. And uh, I realized that she lives literally next uh, house away from me. So I would, I bought a bike and we have like this embankment in Moscow at the river. And, uh, and you I found would, me in I, I found media. her on social media. Back then it was like, not even Facebook, like more or less like Facebook, like social media. Uh, and I texted her every morning saying like, come join sports with me. And like, I would do the photo and then go to sleep. <laughs> 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 every day. Like, you don't need to prove that you're actually doing sports. You can just yeah. take a, a photo and fake it. <laughs> uh, so like in the month time, she said like, okay, let's, let, let, let's meet. Let's have a coffee together. She made like you she, wait one month. More or less, because mm. she never had, like, I'm from Caucasus, the south of Russia. She never had any friend from, like, non, not, like, I'll say, from southern mentality. Like, she mm. never had, like, a Muslim friend or no one. So for her, I was, like, a different character, which was fun to break the barriers together. Mm. Mm -hmm. Challenge accepted. Okay, last question. Yeah, last question. <laughs> this one, take, read it. <laughs> All right. And if you think you should say it in Russian, say it in Russian. I don't mind. Okay. Or say it in English. Whatever. You know your wife. So. Love that it. it's like corrected. <laughs> yeah, I had to fix it. Um, oh, if this is the last time you see me, what would your last words be to me? Oh my God. <laughs> no. Uh, Last one, it's like you are, we say goodbye each other or you are dying. <laughs> it, de it depends. It's either divorce or... <laughs> yeah, if it's or, divorce, no, no. I go to it hell. <laughs> yeah, go it to means you never see him again. Never see him. I'm interstellar and I'm going in another planet, saving the Earth. Uh, I told you that I hope uh, it's going to be an opposite side situation. I, I can't imagine. Since I stay alone without you, I hope it's <laughs> it's going another way. You understand? No, it's no. Uh, <laughs> like you it's hope same. you're. No, no. Yeah. She's saying that if, uh, like, for example, if someone dies, she doesn't want uh, me to die first. Mm. Uh, she will she, because she doesn't want to experience that feeling of losing someone. So, not someone, just you. <laughs> <laughs> just me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't imagine it. No. I can't imagine. No. Okay. No, no, no. A second one? There is no second one. No. I'll tell you. I hope it's. No, I'll tell you the, the point of this question because I never explained it in English. So um, this question is a very difficult question. And I know you, your, your type of relationship is you always make a, a serious topic lighter, but especially if he jokes because mm -hmm. he'll mm -hmm. always joke about mm -hmm. it, you know, he'll make it lighter. It's just his style. The, but this question also for a lot of couples is usually like a big punch. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's tough. It's tough to imagine that your loved one is, is dead mm -hmm. or it's mm -hmm. the last time you'll ever mm -hmm. see them. And uh, yeah. Okay, if you're going deep, uh, deeper. <laughs> if you're going uh, to die. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm absolutely sure that we uh, met each other, we will meet each other in another life. I'm absolutely sure about it. Mm. And uh, of course, uh, from our eager, uh, if someone, someone's die, uh, we have uh, feelings about ourselves, that we are stay alone and all this, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I hope uh, that we met each other in another life, I'm sure about it. And uh, at this moment, uh, I think I need to, to tell him that uh, I try to be happy because I'm sure he wants to be that I have to be happy without him as well. I hope so. Uh, and um, try to uh to live a happy life mm. and something at this way okay so mm. i think yeah you understood the the whole 
point mm -hmm. of this uh, question, although a lot of people sometimes will tell me it's very harsh, it's mm -hmm. very tough, you should not mm -hmm. ask this question. But I am I'm a big supporter that we should talk about death. Yeah, yeah. Because human beings live um, in a mindset of immortal mm -hmm. immortality. Mm -hmm. we, we know we're going to die, but we behave like we're never going to die. True. So by reminding ourselves that you know, death is going to happen, yeah. it's guaranteed. It makes you uh, take care of the things you already have and it makes your priorities different. So let's say now you care about the curtains in mm -hmm. your room and you care about this girl because she wrote a bad comment. The moment you put death into the mm -hmm. whole mix, you're like, why am I even bothering myself? Mm -hmm. I need to take care of my son, my husband. My... You know what priority it is. And you will call your parents and you will call your best friend and say, hey, I just wanted to, yeah, I miss you yeah, and I love, I love you. you. And, mm -hmm. and I, that's the it's whole... It's really important, yeah, it's true. It's very important. Mm. And I, I read a, a research, I don't know if it's true or not, that one of the happiest nations, I don't remember the country if it was uh, Myanmar or somewhere. Um, no, I don't Do you know this? Uh, yeah. That yeah. they have five reminders of death per day. And if you download an app that uses that philosophy, it just reminds you that, by, by the way, you're going to die. Like, yeah. it's, it's, it's scary. <laughs> it's scary, imagine but it flips someone, your mind. It flips. Imagine if you don't tell your friend or something. That it's sometimes, Japan <laughs> times a day. By the way, you're going to die. And your friend next to you also. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird, but apparently they're the happiest or one of the happiest nations because when you start to realize that death is upon you, you make the most mm -hmm. of life. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't um, you don't get stressed with the stupid shit. That, 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 the same we have, like because uh, we love the city called Varanasi in India. When they cremate cre uh, cremate people twenty four hours a day, uh, literally on the streets. This is the place. It, and if you look at the photos of Varanasi. Uh, you would think that this is a place of death, yeah, but see. when you are there uh, and when you see people, you see that they're they are happy. They came to fulfill. Uh, it's more uh, life they, they, than in a big city. They they, they don't no, feel it as the end of the of the road. So they okay. feel it that they, this is just the beginning, and you don't have this feeling of death. Like you don't have to put the death on a pedestal and then think that it, that like okay, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. No, it's a. Uh, it's a, I guess it's a, just a reminder to value your life more. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Every second, as, as you uh, said. Not live in a fear, but rather than value your life, rather than prioritize different things. And yeah. that's what you feel in that place. Even though you know that people are close to death, they don't, everyone, all the families, they are, they're not weeping, they're not mourning, they're celebrating, they're yeah. celebrating because mm. the person has uh, fulfilled what he had to fulfill here, and then he goes to another place, a better place. So um, hmm. in that sense, uh, yeah, it's, it's good to, to remind yourself that there is like a certain point uh, um, in your life <laughs> when this is going to end. So <laughs> don't prioritize wrong mm -hmm. stuff. <laughs> and, and prioritize the right things. Yeah, yeah. You know, like yeah, yeah. that's the whole point is, you know, today I made you feel something and you felt something. And sometimes we need a bit of a spark, a bit of a boost to, to remind us of the gifts that, you know, God gives you. Mm -hmm. if, yeah. uh, if you have 11 years with, you know, two beautiful people, you want to be sometimes, because you forget mm -hmm. your people, we, we take it for granted yeah. until somebody hits you a bit on the head, you're like, okay, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm lucky, you know, I have something good. <laughs> so. You only value something when you lose it, so uh, it's and better to yeah, remind yeah. yourself on the importance of the work right here, right now. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys. Was it difficult for you? Or like, did you feel you could express everything? I have a lot of thoughts. I have a lot of feelings inside. And uh, in usual life, uh, when I spoke to, with my friends, I go always go deep in a deep conversation. Yeah. Did you feel in English you can or no? It has to uh, be Russian. Uh, um, I'm a perfectionist. Mm. And I need to explore all the feelings and all the emotions and all the thoughts because I practice a lot and uh, I always try to go deep. Yeah, yeah, luckily it was in English. <laughs> <laughs>